Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, we'll be exploring the world of the Avengers. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Captain EJ will be your guide. This story is brought to you by my friend, Mrs. Honeybee. Let's begin. Nick Fury is here with you at the Avengers Tower, high above the tallest buildings of New York City. He has called the Avengers to assemble, and you are the first Avenger here. Look out the windows to see how high up you are. The taxis and people walking through the city below look tiny. The sun is out and shining so bright that there isn't a single cloud in the sky. Walking around the Avengers Tower, you marvel at all the technology you have access to as the newest superhero on the team. You get to decide what armor, suits, and machinery you want to use for this mission. As you're looking over all the options, walking around the tower, Tony Stark walks in through the door with Jarvis, helping him put on the Iron Man suit piece by piece. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and decide what your helmet will look like, if you have one. Will it be like Iron Man's, with an AI inside to help guide you? Or will it be like Captain America's, simple with goggles? Steve Rogers walks in next, holding his Captain America helmet before putting it on standing next to you. He bends down to get his super shield out of a hidden compartment in the floor and then holds it up. Next, Thor walks in with Hawkeye and Black Widow. Thor is holding his hammer and cape in his hands. Hawkeye is holding his bow and arrow, and Black Widow is fastening her spider bite bracelets to her wrists. Thor opens his cape and fastens it around his shoulders, then holds his hammer in his hand to inspect it and make sure it's strong enough for the mission. Hawkeye raises his bow and pulls back his arrow to make sure it's ready too. Black Widow pushes a button on her spider bite bracelets and little volts of electricity zap up to show that it's ready. There are a variety of capes, shields, hammers, bows, and armor available to you if you want one, even ones that the Avengers don't yet use. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth to decide the rest of what you will wear and carry with you on this mission. Once you are fully ready in your suit, with your armor and your machinery, with the rest of the superheroes, look in the mirror. See yourself as the newest Avenger, ready for action. Nick Fury assembled you here with them because he knows you are strong and skilled enough to be a valuable member of the team. Nick Fury leads you all to the top of the tallest tower over New York City to explain the current mission. Thanos has threatened the world like never before. Nick Fury got word that he is using his evil powers to capture the sunshine and steal away all the happiness it brings to the people of the world. On top of the tower, with the sounds of the city below, you look up to the shining sun and feel its warmth on your superhero suit. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, enjoying the brightness and warmth of the sun. What would the world do without our sun? It's up to you and your avenging team to save the world from eternal darkness. Iron Man looks around and wonders where the last Avenger is. Then you look up to see the big, green Hulk falling down from the sky to land heavy on the tower's roof. Will you have an alter ego like Bruce Banner has the Hulk? With that, the Avengers are ready to go. Iron Man uses his enhanced vision to try to spot Thanos. Look around with your superhero tools to see if you can see anything for as far as you can see. Suddenly, the sunshine that was so warm and bright begins to fade until it goes completely dark like the blink of an eye. Thanos already got the sun. You watch with the Avengers as complete darkness falls over the city. Good thing you have all the tools necessary to navigate. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth to activate your night vision abilities with the rest of the Avengers. Now that you're able to see in neon green and blue, you fly alongside Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor with Hulk running below, 
Black Widow and Hawkeye carefully balancing on each of his shoulders to help him navigate. There was a little bright spot left where Thanos cannot quite contain the sun's brightness as he hides it in his secret lair. He's moving quickly, but not too quick for the Avengers, who are closing in at top speeds before Thanos locks away the sun forever. The tiny orb of light that used to be the radiant sunshine leads you directly to a mountain before it goes completely dark. Thanos has built an evil layer here, big enough to contain the sun and deep enough to obstruct its light. Each of the Avengers raise their high-tech machines to break into the mountainous lair. The Incredible Hulk winds back his powerful fist and punches into the mountain to break it open. A little bit of sunshine peeks out through the hole that the Hulk's fist left. Then Thor uses his hammer to shake the rest of the mountain into pieces, strike by strike. Now Thanos knows you are after him. Here he comes. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and raise up all of your superhero defenses against Thanos. Iron Man and Hawkeye fly in circles around him to go beneath the mountain and retrieve the sun, while you, Hulk, Thor, and Black Widow defeat Thanos all on your own. Once he's down, Hulk makes sure he stays there, while you and the rest of the Avengers help restore the sunshine. Iron Man, Hawkeye, and Captain America have tied a rope around the sun and are holding the sun on their shoulders trying to carry it out of the mountain lair. They throw you, Black Widow, and Thor the other side of the rope for you to pull it with all of your super strength. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and grab the rope with your super hands. Then breathe out through your mouth and pull it and the sun back toward you. Slowly but surely, the sun rises out of the lair and back into the sky. Then Hulk angrily grabs the rope out of all of your hands and swings the sun around and around above his head like a lasso before launching it back into the sky. The bright, warm sunshine continues and the world is saved from Thanos' evil ways one more time. Thanos stands no chance against you. <laughs> You're the best, Captain EJ. Could you tell the one about when the Collector tried to steal all the trees? Yep, I'm ready to go. Yes. Okay. Let the story begin. You are away from the noise and the crowds of New York City, sitting on a red and white picnic blanket with Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, Thor, and Black Widow. You are all enjoying your much-needed superhero rest in Central Park underneath a big shady tree. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the crisp, fresh air coming in through your nose and filling your lungs. Then breathe out through your mouth and feel your chest slowly lower back down. The Avengers are so happy you are here with them to enjoy this lovely day. Fluffy dogs bark as they fetch frisbees from the air with their mouths. One of the dog's frisbees fly right onto your picnic blanket and lands next to Thor. The dog runs up to Thor on the blanket, panting, and sits down, waiting for Thor to throw the frisbee. Thor takes a breath in through his nose and curls the frisbee back, then breathes out through his mouth and sends it spinning through the air. The dog runs and runs as fast as it can after the super-fast frisbee, but it cannot catch up. Thor is so strong that the frisbee keeps spinning, flying all the way through the trees of the park and out of sight. Thor says, whoops, and tries to hide from the upset owner and dog. The Iron Man holds up one of his red metallic hands and without saying a word, calls the frisbee back with a super special kind of magnet. In an instant, the frisbee is locked onto Iron Man's hand. He hands the frisbee to you to see if you can do a better job throwing it for the fluffy dog who is now back at your side, panting and waiting with a big puppy smile. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and curl the frisbee back. Then breathe out through your mouth and send it spinning through the air. You use just enough of your strength to launch the frisbee the perfect speed. The happy dog jumps up into the air and catches it. The Avengers know that super rest is one of the most important tools that a superhero has, 
So they all lay back on the big red and white blanket to enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine. Feel the warm sunshine on your skin. Hear the peaceful, breezy sounds of a quiet bark with birds chirping in their nests high up in the many trees. Take a breath in through your nose, and when you breathe out, let any thoughts, worries, or concerns float out of you with your breath. Captain America was worried about a bend in his shield that could be a potential issue in their next mission, but after his calming breath, he reminds himself that he will take care of that as soon as he can. For right now, he can just enjoy the park. Anything that cluttered your mind has now gone far, far away like Captain America's worry. With your cleared mind, take another slow, deep breath in through your nose and make your muscles as strong as possible, from your cheeks to your toes. When you breathe out, let all of your muscles be as soft as possible, the exact opposite. That is how the Avengers make sure their bodies are just as relaxed as their minds. Sometimes it takes Iron Man a while to relax his muscles. He's so used to being ready for anything. But at the park, with you, he remembers that the next mission will come, and for right now, he just enjoys the day. Now that you, along with the Avengers, have fully relaxed, you are even stronger than you were before, and you are ready for anything that comes your way. Suddenly, the tree that you were all sitting under is uprooted and pulled into the sky, then away from Central Park. One by one, you see tree after tree being uprooted and pulled into the sky like the first. The ground rumbles with each tree and the birds flap their wings to flee their nests as fast as they can. The Avengers can hardly believe their eyes. They've never seen anything like this before. Then, Thor looks up to the sky and sees a familiar portal opening in the clouds, swirling around and around. Thor looks at you and says, this has to be the work of Loki. But why is he stealing the trees of Central Park? Thor raises his hammer and takes to the sky, while the rest of you stay on the ground to figure out what's going on. You and Captain America are inspecting the holes that the trees left in the ground. They are sizzling with electricity. When you look up, you see the Collector standing before you. The Avengers assemble at your back to protect you. Captain America pulls out his shield as Iron Man engages his suit and shoots up into the air to distract them momentarily. Thor is fighting Loki in the skies using thunder and lightning. Iron Man helps Thor defeat Loki and bring him back down to the ground, where everyone is shielded from the Collector behind Captain America. Just as the Collector was about to descend on you and Captain America, a spider web wraps around and around him, completely stopping him in his evil tracks. It's Spider-Man, who assists his super friends just in a nick of time. The Collector can't move his arms or his legs to do harm to anyone. Thor and Iron Man sit Loki next to the Collector and question him. Why are they taking the trees out of Central Park and disrupting such a pleasant day? The Collector snickers from behind the webbing and says he needed the trees for his great tree collection. The Avengers are outraged and use their collective powers to call each and every one of the trees in Central Park back to their places. The people in the park watch in delight as the trees they were relaxing under come back and provide shade. The birds flock back to their nests, and only a gentle breeze is felt where there was just terror. The Avengers have successfully defeated the Collector and Loki again. That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out.